Welcome to Media Heads TV. Rated R. Hello, people on the internet. This is DJ Crossfade, uh, aka Mr. Donut. Now, uh, I get a lot of my ideas during production. I'm getting a lot better. I feel like, in fact, here's a preview of my current track. Right. was working on this I, I realized there's a lot of there's some feedback going on and it doesn't come out in the final product luckily but it doesn't happen when i'm working with other DAWs that have asio and uh mind you i haven't really worked with another DAW since asset pro 8 and it's really limiting that's why i have the habit of coming over here and and drawing stuff out, um, which you probably should do anyway, because you you kind of you run out of sequences. Uh, so they need this implemented ASIO. In fact, I wouldn't mind if you get to select the option of using uh, Fruit Loops ASIO. I got it installed anyway. Doesn't really uh, wouldn't bother me whatsoever uh, that way I can take away some of that lag that I get it just it just it's just better I realize I can I, if I had the money I'd probably buy myself a little DJ mixer and call it a day and, and probably get rid of that problem I'm sure uh, if you're wondering my system specs my system spec is an 8700k uh, clocked up to 4.5 gigahertz not really Super overclocked. I don't have a the cooling capacity as I used to. Um, I have 32 gigs of memory, and I have a bunch of N NVMe's in there. Uh, one eight terabyte hard drive, and one uh, a three terabyte hard drive, all cached by the NVMe's. So I shouldn't really have this this issue uh, to where. It's where it does that. The reason why I'm showing you parts of my track is because I I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of thinking about you see how you could split this into a new clip. Now stop me if I I did this in the last video. I'm I'm sorry if I did. I think I mentioned it on the forums, uh, or I might have been thinking about it for for a week or two now, uh, and I just haven't been having time to. Uh, make a video on Serato Sor Studio. Uh, you should be able to split this into a new track completely. If I covered this, I apologize. Uh, I really should have looked at my other stuff. I don't remember if I uh, posted on the forums, but I feel like, yeah. Because uh, I, if you noticed, uh, the track today, uh, which I won't play by itself because <clears throat> some copyrights. <laughs> uh, I got this in a couple tracks, and I probably will add a couple more to add a to add a couple more samples. And I do realize in one of my videos I said more cue points, and that that'd be great uh, to do that. Um, it's just sometimes when you're creating uh, music, I feel like in uh, uh, Serato Studio, most DAWs really uh, 
going to probably, Ableton is a good example. You're going to probably draw stuff out anyway because uh, you just want to, I, I don't know. I don't feel like, I don't feel like coming up in here and making another sequence of the same thing. I don't, you know. So to make it different, I, I'm going to cut in these samples where I, I feel like I want them. I, sometimes it doesn't feel right up in here. To me, that's just my opinion. That's why I got that idea from ASIO uh, is definitely a must. Hey, if Serato makes their own ASIO, I'm fine with that too. You know, uh, whatever. As long as it's, it's long as see, it doesn't give me the damn problems of the, that feedback I get. Sometimes I load in a lot of VSTs. Uh, for example, uh, let's see. Uh, right now you, you got my, uh, I got an old version of Secret Sauce. Uh, someone gave it to me, and uh, I got a bunch of these. These, uh, yeah. like, I got a lot of these uh, VSTs in here. Endless Smile. Hey, <laughs> I love this. Okay, you need to get this. It's a sidetrack, yes, but if you don't have this VST, uh, they probably have a later version. I honestly. Uh, uh, this was given to me, so I'm not complaining. And uh, at some point, I'll probably. Uh, uh, if you want to buy Endless Smile, uh, you can go to this website. I highly suggest it. It's not. A, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. But uh, uh, someone gave me this plugin, and I love this pro uh, program. I I don't feel like you need. Sausage fatten it. Oh, it's not, not my favorite what whatsoever. But endless smile. Funny. It's it's a pun because this this track is called Smile. Uh is used throughout my track. Anyway, uh so I'm getting a lot of issues with, with uh, some lag issues. In fact, uh one of my tracks I had a salvage and render out. Because I couldn't work with it anymore. Uh, it was going to be uh, If I Rule the World remix. Um, all this stuff is on my SoundCloud if you want to check it out. And um, hey, maybe I should go over this program if you guys want want to see that. That would be cool. Uh, that'd be fine with me. I can do that. Uh, plugins you need. Since my idea video was kind of short, these are uh, my idea. This is my idea video and the plugins you immediately need to get right now. Plugins you need is this. I got two compressors on. And the reason why is because I I I understand being from I'm old. So these UV meters uh <laughs> I understand more. <laughs> I understand this more than than this. Uh for some for some reason when I'm playing my track. So I really try I really try to stay around uh minus twelve uh through my tracks. Uh as I've been learning it's the optimal uh you can get into the red sometimes. It, it's it's perfectly fine. Uh and another plugin you need to get is is this. This is an AI uh EQ. I've been I've been using it for a month now. Uh and uh, uh <coughs> I've kind of kind of oh, kind of broke with these plugins, man. <laughs> I I'll be honest, so so uh if you can get it because it's a it's certainly a lifesaver. It's helped me quite a bit. And just tweak around. Uh you try to stay in the uh center of uh <laughs> Try to keep this zero. Try to keep this zero too. I still have some tweaking to do, apparently. But this has been today's video. I don't think I've 
really missed anything. Uh, I've covered envelopes. I've covered, I've covered uh, a lot of different things, I suppose. All right, one of my videos, I was trying to think of the word of how how to stack effects. I found this awesome effects plugin by uh, Sound Toys that you could just straight up all these effects can just be stacked in, and it's it's. I don't use it that often. I, I must admit, but I I might use it in this track. It, it'd be cool if I could just stack in whatever effect because I'm always using the uh, uh, the I. Top the text small Isopa. Uh, excuse me if I'm saying that wrong. Vinyl. Of course, uh, another uh, thing that I would love to have, this is part of this. It, I can't get rid of it. I've learned that this will not work without this. Serato keeps reading it, and there is no way to permanently hide it. It would be cool instead of deleting it, because it keeps coming back anyway, right-click and hide. And then have, of course, a button over here somewhere where you right click and unhide. That that'd be great for library exploration. Um, I sh I think I might have covered this, and I'm sorry if this is I'm doing this again. But uh, Serato DJ has this to where I can type a letter, and they would go to A. It would go to uh, uh, what's a good example here? Whoa. Okay, I got a lot of crates here. <clears throat> might need to delete some of the crates, but I got a lot of crates here, as you can see. It'd be cool if I could just go ahead, type in a letter or a number, and it'll go to the crate. Kind of annoying that I got to scroll down, especially with my small ass screen. Hopefully, I can resolve that in some future update. Uh, stimulus check, please come through. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Bring the power of the cheesecake donut be with you. Subscribe, hit the notification bell for updates for my videos. Follow me on Twitter and SoundCloud.